Good man. <laughs> How y'all doing, bro? So we back with Red Dead. Time to do this next mission. Man, we just left from robbing this bank. Took a few people out. Took a few thousand, you know. Now we on to our next thing. Hey Arthur, what are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. What's the dude's name? John, John Marston. Dutch asked him to look into something. To do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll play it the first okay. red did. Let's head out to the These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Let's get it. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Let's get it in. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. <laughs> This is a big house. I think I came here long before delivering that letter. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Ugh, get my M's, bitch. Pleasure You're gonna leave them where it's too when I come back and pop you in your face, bro. They don't mind. Without orders oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now! <laughs> Mama! They call that a promotional <laughs> Ooh, she ain't going. You say go and sell that bullshit. She don't care. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Alright. Let's go. Stop the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. Bro, I stick the best stuff on the market, bro. <laughs> we got some moonshine. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs, gangs like us. Yeah. 
That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Yeah. Put this hat on. <laughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. What about you? You can't speak. Bro, move, man. <laughs> Dude going going over the same way I was going. I was just like, dude, go the other way. Oh, we're going too fast. Slow it down. <laughs> we here. Them horses finna speed the fuck up. <laughs> they finna speed up. Alright, we made it into town, y'all. Now we just gotta find the location. Finna shut up shop. Oh, wrong way, y'all. Turn it. Turn it. Alright. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Let's get it. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Oh, Hello, shit. I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. <laughs> Finn. These niggas finna get put on their ass. <laughs> put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Oh, <laughs> they. They finna get lit. Let's go. Let's pull it up. There you go. I'll get you one, bruh. Come on, get you one. What it be? Let's go. Get another. Throw them up. They finna be wet in a minute. No homo. Let's go. They finna get put on their ass, bro. Don't pull that shit. Here you go. Them niggas. Dude, it's lit up there. Them niggas get the knocking up there. Ugh. I got you, bro. Why are you gonna beat your ass when you walk in the house? Why are you drunk? Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. 
Let me show y'all something. Let me give y'all a lesson real quick. I'm gonna mark that down. Mark that down. Where he go? Where he at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sit it the fuck down. <laughs> you got that down piece lit up? Where is it? Who it at? Who it at? Who mm -hmm. So now, who else up there? Who else up there? Oh, you go what? Get what, boy? I don't want to hit it. Do something, I got you, bear. Let's go over here and get us there. Ah, who did? Oh, sit down, bear. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let's keep that nigga. Who sit down? Here I come, bro. Here I come, bro. <laughs> Head down. Mm -mm. Should've got that hand. Come on out, show your hand, bro. Put it. Mm -mm. Put it down. Let's go. Let's go. Go get my knee. Go get my knee. Where he at? Where he at? Ooh. Come yo. I got you, bro. Oh, I ain't got my gun. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Who else want it? Mm. Bro, you caught two head shots. Oh, they shot the liquor, bro. You ain't got no more moon shot on my left. And it shot it. Mm. Give, me, give me both of my guns, bro. Go on, whore. Ooh, bro. Sit down. Bro, you call some headshots, bro. You finna catch him too. Come on around that corner. Come on around that corner. Oh, uh, now you go. We made it off. They blew up some of our liquor, but we good. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Yeah. I think we out. Okay. Pull off the road here. Take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that <laughs> woman set us up? No, I don't think so. If she did, we're gonna go back and, and, and deal Maybe. with it. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing them. I don't want to have to shoot an old some lady, bro, but I will. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithley. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as well. Moonshine, let's baby. Let's call it a peace offering. Got that moonshine. Woo. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Oh, Finn. 
All right, y'all. Bro, we were serving them up, man. They were getting drunk left and right, fighting. So All hell broke loose. About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Hmm. You sure? I want both of them. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they <laughs> figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Hey, back. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Hmm, pop is it? All right, y'all. If y'all like the video, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you guys later. Love you all. And make sure y'all stay safe during this corona, coronavirus and all of this stuff that's going on. Be safe. They say not to put your hands to your face or touch anywhere on your face. Your nose access points to getting sick. But see you guys later.